Okay, that's what I've got so far. Um, I've been pre-fitting the handles on these axes. That's a black uh, linen micarta handle that I cut out of that slab I've got. And uh, to tell you the truth, it takes about a much, as much time to fit the handles as it does to grind out the uh, axe itself. So uh, I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm going to do here. Um, uh, I'm doing the pre-fit like that, and I've got that where that bolt's right on. And if uh, you're confident with the way you've got your handles uh, prepared to uh, glue on, you can use the five minute uh, epoxy. It sets in about five minutes. That's about all the working time you've got to get those pulled down good. If not, consider the, uh, the two ton epoxy. You've got about 30 minutes working time with it and then uh, within two hours you can kind of work with it and then eight hours it's a complete bond that's a real good glue there if you're uh, if you're bratting your pins on uh, um, to the handle you would want to use the two-ton the slower uh, setting up epoxy so i'll take these handles off now that i've got them mocked up like i want and I can be rounding on those while I'm waiting the, on the blades to cool down from heat treat. Actually, I'll put them in a kitchen oven at 450 for an hour, and then I'll come back and soften just a little bit uh, of the handle area um, um, later. But now I'm going to uh, surface this with the 80 grit belt, kind of clean that up before I... Uh, uh, um, heat it up in the propane forge to quench it in olive oil. Um, one thing, uh, there's some differences in the two axes here. Right here in this area, that's where I'm going to put my maker's mark on this, this axe, and then on the axe I've got prepared right here, I'm going to put my maker's mark right here. Just, uh, I think it'd be unique if you marked your axe with your uh, uh, name, initials, or uh, a date or something. You can either do that now, or I'm going to do mine while it's uh, uh, red hot. And uh, I've got a couple of stamps I've retired that uh, it, uh, it won't hurt those. So there's a little update of what I've got so far. So you'll notice I've got um, three knives in the back there I'm working on fitting the handles onto and they're also uh, made out of plow disc um, the, the knife blade is I've got a 80 grit belt on my 2x72 here and I'm going to uh, kind of knock some of this crust off of this axe kind of slick it up a little bit Okay, there's what I've got so far. That's um, cleaning up the uh, crust off of the axe right there. I used a Norton uh, blue belt. It's a 36 grit. I'll show you the a close up of the texture of that, that belt. It's a stiff back uh, uh, belt and um, that's what I used to clean both of these axes up with and right there's the area where I'm going to put the maker mark on that axe and on this other axe down here I've already heated that tang area up with the acetylene torch rig and I uh, stamped my name and my uh, town on there and um, now um, well I'm going to heat um, um, this area up right here with the acetylene tarts just real gently to it's a dull red or whatever and then I'm going to stamp my name in there and then check the axe for straightness before I heat treat it but, but 
uh, let's see um, on this axe here um, I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, um, 120 and then a 320 this is the texture of this J flex belt see it rolls like that and that's really good for putting a, a chamfered edge around your axe and I'll show you the uh, belt that I have on my uh, 2x72 here that wheel there is called a, a serrated contact wheel and I've got plenty of workspace between that wheel and, and the top wheel and see how that um, that uh, J flex belt really rolls that's good for getting in real tight spots and uh, uh, cleaning out scratches and uh, I think you'll just really like that type belt um, it comes in real handy so uh, uh, I, a lot of times I'll use an 80 a 120 and then a 320 and then after I heat treat it I'll kind of go back through the process again and then I have some other belts for uh, taking the uh, uh, finish on out to a little more polished and um, uh, beautiful finish.